In the last video, we talked about the concept of maintaining your authority file and making sure it's up to date. And as you can see, this does take a fair amount of time and effort on the time of library, part of library staff. So some libraries have chosen to outsource these tasks. Um, there are a number of vendors who do authority work, meaning you're monitoring changes in things like name authority headings and subject headings, and they will uh, send you a new batch of authority records when these changes take place. Archive is one of them, um, Library Technologies, Inc. Uh, you may call them, hear them abbreviated LTI. And Backstage Library Works, those are three of the most prominent. There are many others, so I would not consider this a, an exhaustive list, but these are some places to start with if you're thinking of having this done. Um, I would definitely recommend talking to other people at other libraries and seeing who they recommend, what their experiences are. And so, but other than doing that, you know, if you're even you're not at that point yet of deciding on a vendor, if you're just trying to decide should you outsource, you know, there's the pros and cons. Um, nothing will work for every library exactly the same. The advantage is that it saves your staff time, and you'll probably have a cleaner database. That's because you know they this is what they do. They're you're not stretched thin between other uh, duties. Um, the disadvantage is, is that it does cost money. Um, and you would have to talk to the individual vendors about how much it costs. And you can have some errors if, you know, they're sort of one-size-fits-all, you know, hey, an authority record changed may not necessarily mesh totally with local practices in your catalog. So that, that's just something to look out for. So those are some pros and cons of the decision to outsource your authority maintenance.